Holy shit, we're back with, um, A Galaxy Next Door, episode 2. Last episode was, was a trip. I got insanely attached to the characters <laughs> instantly. I don't know how or why. Stuff because they're super cute, but it ended off. Ended off with Ichiro touching Shiori's stinger, because she's part of the star people, and that means, like, if you touch your stinger, that means it's only a thing marital or, like, married couples do. So... Based off that, they're technically married, but they're going to start off as friends. I don't know. It literally bugged me out. And hopefully we get more info on this episode because I need it. It was, it was a nice it was a nice twist. So it doesn't become like that repetitive rom-com type of deal. But in this sense, it's kind of like or someone wrote rom-com anime uh, waiting in the summer. An alien girl came through and main character fell in love with her. So there's some similar similarities, but not not like a complete carbon copy. Just like them being otherworldly is like the only thing that they share in common. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go face first into this episode. Can't wait to hear that intro and outro because they were so beautiful, dude. Here we go. <laughs> Yep, just like I said. Oh, no doubt about the fucking princess. That's what he touched. Think he was a G pen. Her people's custom, bro. Oh. <laughs> there goes that. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. But you don't because you already said it. You would have already said it, dude. Mm, yep, but now you do. Shiori. Yeah, you touched your singer, dude. No going back from that. What's her deal, bro? You know what's her deal. You literally just figured it out. Can't wait for this. And it progressed more and more because... It is so incredibly wholesome. The same wholesome Miss Vapa got from when I watched Hori Mia. Hope it becomes some one big happy family, bro. Oh! I forgot that Sugita Tomokazu, the goat. Kintama's voice actor. He's creative customs. It'll be good, uh, reference for your manga. Ooh. Yeah, bro, you pulled it all night, bro. Go best. In a year, let's go, bro. That's big W. This is her in her temple. I don't understand. She said she came from outer space, but like she came here in a boat. You know what I'm saying? Unless well, she took fucking Rainbow Road or some Skypea shit. Damn. I can already sense a, a plot turning, a turning point where she has to choose between her people and her. Oh, he's so cute. Wake his ass up. <laughs> I already getting called by a nickname. She's blessing talking to her, bro. She knows she's cute as fuck. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the fever episodes today. Hopefully, Shiori comes through and helps him. Oh. Female just doing what he needs to do, bro. Let him be. <laughs> He's so cute. <gasps> this, family. this family is so cute, bro. I wanna cry. That's so fucking wholesome, bro. Speak of the devil. Oh, here we go. No way, that's how it works. It does look better. So, you being touched by a stinger gives you separation anxiety? Interesting. Oh, yeah, because it's not correct, because... Okay, that makes sense, because he's technically a human. The Grand Star. Damn, that is definitely, like, stuck. To the hips. That's cute though. I like I like physical touch. Oh. Oh. That's pretty cute. <laughs> Her eyes. 
Facts has great advice. She's so cute, bro. Oh. Oh. Even she knows. Damn, she makes you get physical touch as your main language. Love language. How about y'all kiss? What happens if y'all kiss? Or have a baby? Damn, there's a handshake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't let go, but just hold it. <gasps> he fell asleep. Nobody, everybody whispered he fell asleep. Look at her blushing. No, I read a message. I read a message. Those crunch. Fuck me. Oh, he's so cute. Worrying about him. Oh, that walking machine was like so fucking choppy. Oh my god. Oh, they're gonna be in the same house. Oh, my God. oh she's she's on the attack. She's on the fucking attack. But Fumio and her sister don't even know what the fuck is is going on, bro. They're that they've not been they've not been debriefed. Mm. Alright, don't give it the poison ivy, y'all. That'll be. Jesus, she's a fast worker. You stole my words out of my mouth. Oh, you can't decline that. You cannot decline that. Yep, exactly. A little shopping date? How lovely. And some lingerie. Try on haul. Same thing, but still. The belt accentuates her beauty. It's always all black. That's almost the same thing. Ooh, I like that one a lot. <laughs> she just, it's all black, bro. It's her thing. Oh. Oh. That makes it kinky. It's like a... It's like a, it's like a, a role play come true, bro. She went the loafers on too. Oh, that's a, that's a monumental thing, bro. Oh my god, looks so good. Brulee parfait? He's gonna get on top of a cell tower. Damn, she's still she's still saying everything was wonderful, bro. Switch up the language. No, she doesn't know how fucking phones work. Yeah. Most they got taken over by a meteorite. So, okay. Oh, she's the OG OG. The fuck? What? How is that in the same category of historic moments like World War II? Oh, she's dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I just, I feel so bad for that. Dude, she's really into it, bro. No, bro, take her, bro. Stop selling. No, bro, stop fucking selling, bro. Don't sell, dude. Don't sell. Don't fucking sell, bro. This is the best. Let go, bro. Let go, let go. What's happening, bro? I won't. What's happening now? Does insecurity make the thing go bad? Mm. Why are you getting emotional now? Yeah. <gasps> yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. She felt his feelings because of his tears. 
We're gonna know if you're gonna try to learn more of her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck if I was. Oh. Hmm? If only you knew, bro. If only you knew Machi. <gasps> oh, Machi and Fumio. They're gonna get jealous now. Second ending, second ending, second ending, second ending, second ending, second ending. Second ending, please. Second ending, please. Second ending, please. Second ending, please. Second ending. Oh? Yes. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit, okay. Wholesome episode. I hope Ichiro doesn't fucking sell and they stay married. I don't care what circumstances he's thinking about. Bro, I don't care. You can get married and imagine the tax breaks you'll get too. That's saving more money, dude. Like, oh my god. It's, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. What the fuck? Pretty eventful episode. We got more uh, knowledge on how sh Shiori works. And actually very excited for the next episode too because it looks like she's going to try more things about romance. So hopefully that gives them more of a chance to actually fall in love with each other so they're going to have to annul the contract. Because my, my guess right now is they find a way to know the contract as they're falling in love. But they do have best interest for each other. But then once they annul it, they realize that they actually do love each other, this and that, and then they have to like go through even more rigorous progress to re restart the contract. I don't know, but yeah. Like always, Fumio and Machi carry the cuteness in this anime, bro. Especially Fumio. Fuck. That is all I got. So I'll see you in the next uh I'll see you in the next one.